Hello everyone and welcome to this Pete and Vinny reaction video and today we are extra excited. That's right because as many of you probably already know Metallica, THE Metallica have released their first new song in six years called Lux Eterna. That's right guys it came out yesterday we had to wait until today to come together and do the reaction for you guys but we haven't checked anything no images no silent videos nothing, nothing at all not so even clips straight up genuine force reaction safe to say metallica one of the most important bands for us you know and for so many people guitarists and and just mu music music lovers you know like metal lovers and stuff. yeah definitely the band that got me into metal first you yeah. know they were one of the a grouping for me for sure yeah like, yeah i think i started with metallica and then i think as usual you progress into i have your types of metal like pantera you know sepultura stuff like yeah, that you know keep going from there yeah but they definitely opened that world for a lot of people so we're really excited out of interest, bro, what's your what's the most important Metallica album to you? Most important? Yeah, most important. Because I think there's a distinction between favorite yes. and most important in terms of guitar and musical evolution and stuff. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Oh, my God, that's so hard. Um, well, to be honest, I think one of my favorites, and this is probably a less popular one, is Injustice for All. Okay. okay. I listen to that one so much. Like... Uh, well, Black into the opener, the yeah, title yeah. track, and Justice for All, Harvester of Sorrow, Dyer's Eve, all those songs. Like I loved. It's too bad it didn't have any bass, yeah. as it should have. Bass, <laughs> Jason Newstead was amazing, but I don't know. That that was definitely one of my favorites. I think the most important was probably Master of Puppets because of the guitar playing. You know, I learned so the most, much. So and Justice was like the favorite, and Master was the most important. I think and Justice was my favorite, and yeah. Master was the most important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what about you? Well, I think for me, I'm going to have to say the most important was Ride the Lightning, which is really like, um, I wouldn't like, it's exactly what we, we said, the difference between favorite and most important, because it was the first Metallica CD I ever bought, you know? Yeah. So I bought the CD when I was like, I don't know, 13, 14, probably, you know, and then I was just listening to it the whole time. The opening yeah. with Fire with Fire, you know, yeah. I used to just play it super loud, annoy all my neighbors and everything, <laughs> you know? And then I think, that really got the ball rolling for me with metal and Metallica. But then uh, I would say that the favorite probably is a really hard call between Master and the Black Album. The Black Album. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the thing as well. That the Black Album, uh, yeah. for me as well, was huge. You know, like... you can't forget the Black Album also teaches you about the sound of music. Yeah. Production. We still reference that when we're mixing for the snare sounds. For the guitar thickness, yep. you know, for the for the reverbs and stuff, layering harmonies and stuff like that. So yep. I think uh, Master is savage and it's so important, even for like thrash metal in general. Yeah. But man, like the Black Album for me it was like huge. As no, well, and, you know? and the Black Album also teaches you about groove. You know, it's, yes, it's much more groove yes, based. Yes, you yes. know, Metallica obviously, as everyone knows, they took a totally different direction with that. You know, yeah. and a lot of people hate it. I don't know why it's amazing you know yeah. but like it's so important as well as you said for the sound you know it's yeah like, it's it's huge like you know I love it you know probably yeah. my favorite in that case yeah yeah whereas contrast to the earlier which were just more thrash based you know yeah like there was obviously lots of guitar but it was less there was less layers you know yeah but also let us know what's your favorite album in the comments or what's the most important to you start the discussion let's talk about this Metallica's exciting <laughs> all right we're a bit on the edge for this so let's check it out so Metallica Lux it a turner is a that how you say it? I think so. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Are you ready? Let's do it. Tight drum mm. sound jumps out of me as well. Quite rocky to start. I, I was gonna say based around the A string, yeah. You know? Well, I think it sounds like they're tuned to E first of all. Uh, you yeah, know? yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the, from the, from the, don't know, don't know we haven't checked, but, but yeah, for the sounds of it, and 
it's like it instantly reminded me a little bit more of the load times when stuff oh, yeah, were yeah. a bit more rocky. Absolutely, yeah. But it's, as soon as it starts, it's straight away. I'm like, it doesn't sound like anything else that comes to me by Metallica straight away. And then the mix sounds different as well. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, okay, maybe low. Maybe it sounds a bit like more close to load than like some of the other stuff. Yeah. But all right, okay. Let's continue. Like those vocals. Well, James' voice is still killing it. Yeah. Nice pick jacket. Him, pick him to walk. <laughs> <laughs> was it actually a bit of a walk? It was a tiny bit, tiny bit. Tiny bit. Yeah. Just a flavor. Man, vocal, that's man. Yeah. Good. Glad, glad James still practices his singing. Nice. Kirk Hammett just played a wireless solo. <laughs> the video's amazing. I, I was man. thinking that as well. Really made it. If you notice, so everyone's wearing a nice jacket on yeah. the video. <laughs> James's jacket's amazing. Yeah. Kirk's jacket's yeah. amazing. Yeah. You know, is Rob wearing a jacket? If Rob's wearing, if Rob's dressed up a bit, that would be, be amazing <laughs> yeah. to see as well. Well, so far the key on the fashion, fashion context, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Kirk's jacket's the best though. No, I didn't I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it close up. Megadethy that that riff there. <laughs> a little bit megadethy on that riff. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mate, that is a kick-ass video, isn't it? Yeah. I I think um, one of the things that I was thinking about while well, well, like listening to the vocal especially is that I remember like I don't don't remember who it was, but it was this producer one time that was um, I think I was looking into like a recording session mm. that they were doing Metallica mm. and they were discussing whether to tune to E or E flat and this producer guy said uh, the thing about Metallica is that when you tune to E there's a, there's a different type of strain on James's voice yeah of that course. sounds very Metallica yeah you know yeah, so yeah. I think that's what we could hear on the solo is like when James has to reach those like higher notes yeah to keep up with E then it sounds like very him, very aggressive. Yeah, like the yeah. first album, the first record, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So you can see like it's, um, I could see like it's really close to like fuel for me in a yeah. sense. Definitely had the sound of fuel yeah. overall. Yeah, but yeah. like with that more aggressive vocal, you know? Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Well, if it is, I'm, I, I'm, I'm really impressed because when Metallica tours these days, they, they play all their E songs in E flat, you know? Because yeah. as, as everyone, when, they, when you get older, yeah. your voice can't quite reach those high notes anymore. Yeah, but for the records, it's different, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But no, but if, he's, if that, that high note, the Lux Eterno, when he was singing that phrase, mm -hmm. if that's a high E, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought the mix was a lot more open as well than, uh, than some of this the other stuff you know open in what I, sense, like, like it wasn't so dense like oh, I see. it seemed yeah. like there was a bit less going on in terms of like thickness of guitars you know yeah so I thought it was pretty refreshing pretty cool you yeah, know? yeah 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 no I think um it's very promising as well because obviously this is just one song yeah you know? there's an album coming out this doesn't course. mean you know because like this one's a bit more rocky but it doesn't mean there's not going to be 
sad but true like kind of songs on there as well with like you know based in D or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think like they're kind of making a statement with this new album you know yeah yeah it's hard to make much of it uh, without listening to the album yeah you know but so far I have to say this track surprised me you know yeah. I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, but something a little different, you know? Yeah. No, me too. I think we're probably kind of clinging on to what we know. As yeah, exactly. Because it does sound fresh. That's the thing, you know? Yeah. It sounds fresh, sounds different, you know? And Metallica, you know, like they always pushed to be different yeah. all the time. Yeah. You know, like every album they do, they always have that kind of worry in mind to just not do the same album over and over again, you know? Yeah. So I think that's, that's, that's what's coming for us, basically, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I I liked it overall. I liked it. You yeah. know, I think it was a, had a modern sound, different from what they've done, and it makes me excited to hear the rest of the album. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching another Pit and Vinny reaction video. Now, if there's any other guitarists, bands, new singles, or whatever you think we should react to, please let us know in the comments, and we'll make it happen for you. And also, let us know in the comments what you thought of this video. What are your thoughts on the new Metallica track? Are you excited to hear the album? And as usual as well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps us out. And consider subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this one. So until next time, see ya. Yeah.